YouTube, what's poppin' baby? You read the title of this video, why you should actually be grateful for your nine to five instead of loathing it and hating going there every day. Getting straight to the point, straight to the video. Reason number one is because it makes you sociable. It forces you to go out, be sociable, interact with people and develop a personality. Because if you think about it, if you didn't have a job and you're sitting at home all day working, and you're just gonna become a fucking Neanderthal, a mongoloid. You won't know how to fucking look people in the eye and actually speak to them with some goddamn, <laughs> with some goddamn balls, man. You won't know how to speak to people with some motherfucking balls. There's another word I'm trying to look for, but I can't remember it right now. So that's reason number one why you should value your nine. <laughs> that is reason number one why you should value your nine to five. Reason number two is because your nine to five is helping you fund your future, right? You may loathe your nine to five. You may hate going there, blah, blah, blah. You may hate your coworkers, but look, at the end of the day, it's providing you money to keep your lights on at your house, providing you money to actually fucking live somewhere and not be a homeless bum, it's providing you money to buy food. You know what I mean? It's just providing you the necessities of life. So why are you loathing something that's doing something for you? Now, obviously, it's hard to, you know, enjoy doing work that's not your passion. But think about it this way. That nine to five that you're in right now can fund your passion. For example, you want to be a musician. That nine to five that you're getting money from, if you're smart with your money, you can allocate your funds that you're getting from your job and buy new equipment buy a piano, buy a guitar, buy the software you need to produce music, things of that nature. Same thing with fitness. You can save up and buy a nice camera to share your progress with other individuals or to make motivational videos or whatever you wanna do. But that nine to five is literally helping you fund your dream. You just have to be accountable and responsible for the funds that you get from that job and put them into smart things that help you elevate out of it if you really don't like working a job. And it's really that simple. The nine to five is your friend, not your enemy. Stop loathing it. If you're actually grateful for the things that you have in your life, the universe will reward you by giving you more stuff that you want. But if you're constantly loathing things in your life, you're constantly like, being depressed about your situation, you're not gonna go anywhere. You have to use the situation that you're in in order to fund your dream, in order to fund your, your future life. And it's that simple. Instead of fucking wasting all your money that you get from your job on going out and partying every fucking weekend, how about you putting into something that's gonna help you get out of your situation? How about you putting in fucking stocks, some mutual funds, some index funds, to make your money, make money for you. How about you put your funds allocated from your nine to five into your dream? Like I said, whatever equipment you need instead of loathing it. Cause loathing it and complaining is not gonna do shit. But if you take action with the money that you're making, you may be able to live your dream life that you've always wanted to fucking live. And number three, why your nine to five is important and why you should not loathe it is because at the end of the day, people are made to work. We were designed to work and serve other people. No matter what you do in life, if you're making, you know, nine to five income, if you're making self-sustaining income with no job and you work for yourself, you are serving people. In the simplest terms, you are serving people. So if you don't want to work a nine to five anymore, find a way that you can serve people in a more scalable way. Because obviously when you're giving your time for money, you have to be in that certain place at that certain time, helping the people that are there. But if you do something like help people with information, help people with their fitness, with the power of social media, you can leverage your time in order to reach a bunch of different people and serve so many more people than you would at your nine to five. 
So if you think of it that way, regardless, you're going to serve people. If you think living life as a lazy bum that does nothing all day and doesn't serve any anyone is going to be good for you, think again. Because I guarantee you will not enjoy that life. And if you do, <laughs> to each their own. But I know for a fact I would not enjoy that life because I love serving people. I love having a purpose. And I love taking care of people's needs. <clears throat> taking care of people's needs. And it's really that simple. But anyways, before I keep rambling on, that's going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, learn something from it. Or simply want to, go ahead and share the video with somebody that needs to hear this information. Somebody that be complaining in your fucking ear about their job. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to be notified when I drop another video. I've been your boy Adam. And other than that, man, I'm very grateful to you for watching all the way to the end of this video. I'm going to catch you in the next one. And I'm gone. Ooh, 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 ooh.